Hello, how you doing? I'm Hamish. Lace things down. Okay, cool. Let's get started. So, we have this question right here. This is one of the easy questions. I'll just say, they say, consider the question. This is the question. Now, they say, simplify the question about by rewriting it in logarithmic form and then solve for t. Easy. Don't worry about the other crap. I feel like it's a waste of time. Hint. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> So let's go start. So now we know what we can do. They say we have to rewrite it. Okay, let's rewrite. So we have 100 and then equal to 50 times 10 power 0 0.031t. So you know what you do? They say uh, then apply logarithm and then see. Oh, excuse me, sorry. My apologies. So sorry, my apologies. Simplify the question above and rewriting it and then uh, in logarithm. So if you have this, so how you rewrite using logarithm? You apply logarithm on the left and also on the right. Logarithm you apply on both sides. If you have a number like this, you don't have anything. Let, let, let me show you something very, very important. Quick, just before you go. If somebody give us a uh, uh, logarithm rule, if somebody give log of a, no, so somebody give you. A x equal to c. Find the value of x. So you can apply logarithm if you have a sample with power. So I'm going to say log of a and then on the left and right. And then you write log before everything. It means log here and log there. And then you see this power? Power always go behind. So this is going to be x log of a equal to log of c. So since you want to get x divided by log of a, divided by log of a, divided by log of a, divided by log of a. So our x equal to log of c, because this and this cancel log of c over log of a. Another rule. So this is like power rule of logarithm. So you can take something to that back. Another rule of logarithm. If you have, let's say, uh, a the b. See, a, b. So if I have a log, let's say log of a times b. You see, let's say I put log there. So you know what happened? You can separate. If you have a log of a times b from logarithm rule, if there's a multiplication, you can separate. You can say this equal to log of the first one plus log of the second one. If there's a plus group, and then you can separate by say log of the first one plus, you know what I'm saying? So, in other way, this equal to this. So, how if is a division? For division, if somebody say log of k over let's say kt so if you division you're going to take the first one log of t minus log of t log of k the top excuse me top one is k minus log of t so if you division take the first one log of the top minus log of the bottom so this is a logarithm rule so now we come here you see since the one has to get t look this is the one which got group here log this is the one which have got power so i'm going to apply log on the left but before I do that, look, before I do that, i got to use mental math. You see here, it's 50 times this number. So first of all, it's divided by 50 here, and then here divided by 50. So 50 and 50 cancel. So it's like, and 100 divided by, uh, 100 divided by 50 equal to 2. Oh, I almost forgot. So here's 10, and then we have a 0, 0, 3, 1, T. You know what I'm saying? So then, don't say, oh, I have to divide by 10 again. No, no, never do that, okay? Because this 10, it has attached to the exponent. I mean, this is the base and this exponent. This is like a one number. You know what I'm saying? Together, it's one number. It's 10 power something. One number. So when you hear that, you see here, it's like, it's like they want to say the face. Like, so here, you see, it's like having, let's say, 2 equal to 3 power x, something like that. It's just this bigger number, like 0.0, .0 but it's like, so, you know, since you have a power, you can apply logarithm throughout. So here, what you're going to do, I'm going to apply log here and, I mean, right here and right there. So log 2 equal to log 10 and then the, uh, the exponent is 0.031t. So we say that phase, if I have a log of something in power, this exponent is going to go to behind the logarithm. You take this exponent, it goes behind the logarithm. So this is going to give us, so you have a log of 2 here, equal to uh, this one, this number 0, 0.0 is going to come behind 
0, 3, 1, t, and then you're going to have a log of 10. A log of 10. But a mathematical, look. Not. No, I am not. If you have a log of 10, or anything, oh, let me write here. You have a log of, let's say, 7. Uh, so if there's no base, means you know this is base 10. This is base and this is log. So this state will have this. But if it was, let's say, 10. Okay? If it's same base, same log, we always say equal to 1. Make sure you knock this. That is very important. So if somebody gives, let's say, log x under this x is also equal to 1. If it's the same log. So if somebody gives me log of 10 equal to 1. So if there's no base, we know automatically. Like by nature, it's going to be equal to 10, so equal to 1. So we come here. We say log of 10. Since there's no base here, this is going to be base 10. So log of 10 out of this 10 equal to 1. So now this is going to be log of our 2 equal to 0, prime, 0, 3, 1. T times times 1, because this is going to give us what? 1, this now. Times 1. Excuse me. So this is going to be log. 2 equal to 0, 0, 0,031. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
Go to your other friends. I don't want you right to write uh, this ad. So this we have four, so three other plus two and then over five other. You come here. So since this is positive, when you come over, it's going to become minus five over two other. So you, since you number, you must be alone. Seven. So when you write here, you know what we're going to say? Okay, now how are we going to do? We want the denominator has to be the same. This is five other and this is two other. So, whew, which number is going to be common between five and, uh, five and two? Ten. Ten goes for both. It goes for five and it goes for two. So what I'm going to do, uh, how I'm going to make this ten? For me to make this ten, I must multiply by five. And, but whenever you do at the bottom, you must do the same thing to the top. Multiply by top and bottom. Now, how I'm going to make this ten? Because since I know the common number is ten, I mean, this I must multiply by two. And the same thing you do at the bottom, you must do the same thing. So now, after that, now we're going to go. 2 times 4 equal to 8. So this is going to be 80. So you have 3 other plus. Oh, I, let me just do show away. So 2 times 4 equal to 8. So this one is like 8. So if I can move this 2 times 4, and then I say, let me put 8 here. And write 8. So this is like 8. Now we go 8 times 3 other. Because remember, there's a bracket, so you might apply for both. 8 times 3 other is going to be 20. 4 other plus plus. 8 times 2, 8 times 2 equal to 16. Okay, and then we over. 2 times 5 R equal to 10 R. Uh, minus, excuse me, I was making say minus. Now 5 times 5 equal to 25. 25 over. 5 times 2 R equal to 10 R equal to 3. So what we're going to do now, since the denominator are the same, so you don't have to write one root, other group. Means you can write only one denominator. So this is going to be, I'm going to write only one of them. So I'll say, uh, so on numerator, denominator, I'm going to write only one, 10 R. And then take the first group minus the second group. So 24 plus 16 minus minus 20. 24 other. Oh my god, 24 other. Uh, plus 16 plus 16. And then minus 25 and then equal to 3. So 24 other. 24 other. And then 16 minus 24. 16 minus 24, you get negative 9. And then we're over 10 other equal to 3. So when you write right there, what you want to have to do, what you do, you can cross multiplication. So say this over 1, because when you say 5, look, what is 5? Five? 5 is like 5 over 1, because 5 over 1 is 5. If you say k, means it's k automatic half over 1. So that's why I say 3 over 1, because I want to cross multiplication. So cross multiplication, take this group, multiply by this group. So you see, that's why cross. Don't forget your equal sign, or you can just write it before you forgot. Now you say this group multiply by that. So I say 1 times 24 other minus 9. 10 other times by 3 is going to be 30 other. So 1 times 24, 24 other. 1 times negative 9, negative 9 equal to 30 other. So now this is going to come back. So you 24 other, right? And you other go to your brother. So come here. Since this is positive, when it goes over, it's going to become negative. And this is negative 9. Go over, it's going to become positive 9. 24 minus 30 is going to give us negative 6. R equal to 9. So what we do now, I want to get R. So I'm going to get R divided by negative 6, divided by negative 6. I don't need that negative 6. So this negative 6 and this is cancel. So 9 over 6. 9 over 6. Okay, so first and foremost, I can just say, okay, let this go. So it's going I can simplify. Which number is common for both? Or you can put a calculator or you can just simplify. Which number is common for both? 3 is common for both. So how many 3 in 9? Yeah, 3. And how many 3 in 6? 2. Don't forget your negative. So that's our first answer. Now we look. Do you have that? No. But this, look, nothing. But you can simplify further. How many 2 in 3? There's a 1, 2. And then, how many 2 in 3? There's a 1, but I found 3. If there's a 1, 2, I'll let you through 1 and then over this number here. But there's a ne negative, don't forget your negative. So this is the right option. Option 4. You know what I'm saying? It easy like that, man. Easy, man. We out. It's just a waste of time. When you do this question, and it's easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. Of you know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and, you know, you can just go and do donations to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time.
you know subscribe don't forget share this video circulate to a lot of people you know because the meaning of this project is program is to help as many as we can okay it's not only for one page or two because you might think it's not helpful for you but for somebody next out there it could be very very helpful so thanks a lot of man and you know any donation that you did to me it means so much i appreciate man it means a lot go to our patreon page go to our uh go find me because we need to have a you know a lot of things we need to put them together like camera you know and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know a lot of angle a lot of aspects of these projects you know thanks a lot man i appreciate it and i love you peace and love bye you know this is one of my children of knowledge you know she wanted to use herself what's your name could you please introduce yourself my name is Kamri. yeah uh, yeah, Toronto with bands. Toronto with bands. Toronto with bands is everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other student. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score decision, right? So you promise, I want you to score decision this time. And what's your name? Be? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. <laughs> yeah, so Toronto with everywhere, man. Toronto with bands. Everywhere. Toronto with bands everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Huh? John, exactly. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, which advice would you give to the people? Or two is <laughs> Trust Amish. <laughs> why, why would it trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I read it first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's mm. the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy.